All right, we're with David Huggett. What a story you have. It's like uh, served in Desert Storm, Desert Shield, and uh, it's quite an adventure out there, huh? You have some it's, pretty neat stories. It's been an adventure, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, you guys were some uh, sneaky guys. You caught some high profile targets. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that's kind of luck. Which we probably can't talk about how you did that, right? So, <laughs> so yeah. you suffer from Parkinson's. Yeah. Yeah. When you're a young guy, you're diagnosed at what age? I was actually 36. 36. Turning 37. Wow. And they never quite figured out why, but they suspect maybe some sort of chemical exposure out there. They, they believe that it was a, a combination of the um, vaccinations that we got. Uh, some insecticides that they had uh, put in uniforms and just that they don't know what they don't know right but they know something right. isn't right and, and there are a lot of the shield the, you know the, the whole uh, syndrome and everything and for the longest time I always thought that was BS yeah. like I'm fine there's like, yeah. well, where are all these people yeah. Two, three hundred thousand people complaining about, um, and then you know the first cardinal symptoms started for me in about two thousand, and you know army doctors were right. well you're too young for this it can't be that yeah, it's it can't unusual. be this that. so you know they give you Motrin and tell you yeah. to change your running shoes and soldier on so that didn't uh, work no it didn't work. Even a lot of the spouses ended up having MS. Yeah. That. Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, right. uh, which my wife does have. And uh, the doctors at, at Mayo Clinic believe that was a uh, direct result from exposure that uh, we had. And then they believe that we had permeating toxicity from ourselves right. that then caused them to, to have because we don't have it in, we don't have either disease on either side of our family. We were both under the age of 40 when we were diagnosed. She was actually 31. Wow. Uh, our symptoms started about the same time. Uh, hers a little earlier than mine. But it's just been, uh, you, you have to take every experience and grow from it. Uh, and as you do that, you wind up becoming advocates right. for You do a lot of work people. helping veterans. I, with I try to. Uh, and how's yeah. modern medicine helped you? It's pretty amazing what you have there. Yeah, I've got. Can I show that real quick? Sure. It's neat. I've got a deep brain simulator, and this is the computer for it. And you have a and remote. There's a remote, and I should have grabbed it. I didn't. And you have uh, wires basically going from there to the parts of your brain. Right, there's wires. So the surgery for that last six to ten hours I can't remember exactly how long I was in for but you're awake through the whole procedure uh, it's pretty amazing I mean it is you turn that off and all of a sudden you just can't move it's pretty profound now uh, and I give all the credit to the doctors at, at UNC and uh, just they did it right they got everything right and the disease is, is so different for every patient. It's very hard to, uh, to treat in the sense of you know, the medications are very caustic. You know, when you see Michael J. Fox, the, the dyskinesias are from the medications. And the DBS is a fairly new technology that stemmed from another procedure called a thalamotomy. And uh, it, it really, I mean, it's allowed me to almost be normal. I, I still have issues. That you have enough to pay it forward. You're still, yeah. He's helping people with PTSD. He, you own an ammunition company. Yeah. That's pretty neat. So, uh, you're paying it forward. Trying to. Awesome. Trying to. Love the great work, and uh, we need more guys like you to serve our country. Absolutely. The battle continues. The battle continues.